also during the flow of this, how much, so like when you were, again, you, you, you do a lot of this all by yourself. So do I sometimes, but when I work with producers and, or hosts, I want to also send them messages privately during the show because I'm also show running with them. They may not realize the time, the pace, or dive deeper into that question. There's more there. How much mm -hmm. of a producer's role is it to help the host mine the content while it's going on? Oh, I mean, absolutely. So this reminds me of my television days where it was, you know, you had the IFB in your ear yeah. and the <laughs> yeah. would be speaking to you and they would say, occasionally, you know, they say, well, mostly they would say, okay, you got to wrap it up in 20 seconds. But um, besides, you know, telling people if they need to stretch or go to break or something else, um, they would be a second set of ears listening for, you know, he really made that great point. Why don't you ask a follow-up question? So the producer plays an active role in active listening to the interview going on and helping the host uh, navigate that. Because sometimes as a host too, you know, you are distracted uh, by just the pure, uh, you know, reality of it all. But uh, yeah, so that is, of course, another job as well. And, you know, the producer watches the time. I mean, the, the producer has to, is responsible for keeping everybody on track. Okay, come on, let's wrap it up. You know, let's, let's cut. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, you, you, you do have a commercial coming up. You have to do that. You have oh, to yeah. segue back in. The host does all that, but people do not realize how often the host is listening to someone in their head while they're talking and navigating that whole thing. Oh, it yeah. Is, like, it's, it's a true head job, isn't it? it? It really is. It's like, we're going to break in 20 seconds. Okay, thank you so much for joining me today. And coming up next, we will be uh, on the shoreline. Stay with us. So <laughs> it's like, I, this happened to me so many times because I'd be doing all this breaking news, you know, and so I would always get things in my ear. And sometimes I'd be like in a live breaking news situation, plane crash, et cetera. And, uh, you know, you'd be getting new information in your ear, even though you're on the ground doing the reporting. Sometimes you're not getting that real time information because you're off in the field, you know, in front of wreckage or something. And then the press people are all the way over there. So absolutely. Um, you know, it's it's a producer's job, really, to, to take care of everything and and to also dictate the order of a show as well. So it might not just be one interview, but you might have three interviews lined up, you know, to also talk to people backstage, if you will, or people that aren't online yet, right, to say, okay, you're coming up next, um, you know, you're going to have five minutes, um, you know, also pump people up like you're in the green room, the yes. green room, <laughs> the Zoom, the green Zoom room. The Zoom, yes. You know, just to say like, you know, oh, you're going to be great. Remember, keep your answers brief. You know, the host is going to be asking you about X, Y, Z. Are you ready? And they also, by the way, will look at things like if it's a virtual, you know, the lighting, the, the framing, mm -hmm. um, you know, whether or not your um, audio is good. They will do all of these pre-checks before. So usually you'll get on, you know, 15, 20 minutes before whatever the designated time is. And you'll go through all your tech checks to make sure that you can be heard, you can be seen, the framing is good, you know, right before we got on, I just shut those, um, I just shut the curtains because I realized with the time change, the sun was coming through the back of this, you know, shot. So, well, yeah. And and again, the host is want to be show ready. It's up to the producer to take away all those distractions. And that's really what they become when you're the host. Um, even with podcasts, there's so much going on. The more intricate, the more professional we get, the more we use things like restream and other things, you do want someone separate running the ship because your job as a host is to be here. Not well, turning knobs and not fixing things. Your job is to be here. You know, just, I, I agree with you. And, and if it wasn't, you know, if it weren't you or myself, um, you know, I can do all this because I started out in radio. I would run the yes. board. I would, you know, I, I would do the teleprompter while I was on the news desk, <laughs> flip the pages and talk and be like, you know, so I was doing it all and I'm used to doing it all and I'm fine because I actually like controlling it and it makes me feel really calm when I know that I want to put the graphic up here and I'm going to get the, mm -hmm. but it takes a certain skill set to do that and it takes a lot of practice now.